Well, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Now, welcome, welcome to the show. Our Jessica wants to say good morning too, right? Yeah, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing, right? I think we're doing pretty good. Somebody's alarm went off on their car outside. Now it's going beep, 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 right? It did? Yeah, breakfast time. Let's go check it out, guys. Yeah, I'm going to bring her very soon. But we got to show you guys on what we're having for breakfast, right? Getting our regular eggs, our jam, a good cup of coffee. Yeah, look at that. So let's go ahead and have breakfast. And then here in a little bit, I got to call in and find out if they have a load for me yet. Yeah, somebody's alarm went off. <laughs> you see, I got the security camera set up now. Yeah. You see that? Oh, now they finally shut it off. Yeah, I do have a security camera on the house. So if you guys think you're gonna sneak up on my house, that ain't happening. It's gonna send me an alert right away to my phone as well that you're in front of my door. So anyways, we uh, will have breakfast and then we'll find out if we get a load or not. Yeah, we have finally got us a load, guys. I called in around 11 and uh, sure enough, they had a load for me. Uh, going from Steinbach up to Thunder Bay, Ontario to deliver tomorrow at 10 a.m. and then go back to ja uh, Dryden, Ontario not Dryden, Minnesota like I said the other day <laughs> yep yeah. and then to uh, Jackson, Missouri yeah, that's a pretty decent trip However, that is going to be super tight with my hours to make it back from Monday. If I had the hours, it would be no problem. But I already did that short trip, right? So that's going to be extremely, extremely tight for me to make it. But we're going to give it our best shot. And if I can't, I can't. Nothing I can do about it. I'll just have to take, uh, you know... Tuesday off I guess or just trying to make it home Tuesday early morning and whatever it is what it is absolutely nothing I can do about it but here we go let's get out of town and make our way to uh, Thunder Bay Ontario look at here guys just got onto highway one and it looks like we have some sort of wreck up here who somebody got rear-ended badly this car right up here, I know you guys probably couldn't see it, but the van right there got rear-ended pretty badly there, so hopefully nobody got killed in this deal, but anyways, just figured I would show that to you guys. I have been going here for a good long while already, so guess what time it is? It is time to go ahead and have me some supper. Look at that, our usual. Yeah, I just kind of pulled over into one of these sort of slash rest area pullover area i guess he could call it and uh so i warmed up some lunch or supper whatever you want to call it and filled up the uh, windshield washer container and now we're going to have a good bite to eat and then continue on with our journey up to thunder bay after lunch it was time to show you guys around a little bit so let's take a look we got the traffic going by right over here another truck decided to pull in yeah look at that we got a little bit of bushes up there. I guess they cut some of that stuff down. But I figured I'd take you guys out with me and uh, show you guys around a little bit, right? Looks like a beautiful, beautiful day out here today. It was like 26, 27 degrees Celsius. Just absolutely gorgeous. But at least this pullover area does have something that a lot of these places don't have here in Ontario which is those things right there. You don't see those too many places here in Ontario. And those are washrooms. Yeah, they're not fully facilitated. Like what I mean is no water or anything like that, but at least they have a washroom, right? A lot of these pullover areas up here in Ontario don't even have that. So that kind of sucks usually. But anyways, I just figure I'd get out and show you guys a little bit stretch my legs go for a little walk right had my uh, supper already so now we're good to go so let's get back on the road guys time to get out of here guys we spent enough time in here 
basically 48 minutes that I spent in here. But that's Continue okay. On this road for 234 kilometers. Yeah, that's okay. I don't see nobody coming right now, so we're good to go. Just down the road from here, just prior to me getting here, there's actually some construction going on, right? So they're uh, basically stopping everybody on one end and then it's only like one lane traffic, right? So every once in a while you'll see a bunch of traffic coming through and then you won't see anything for a while because they're letting the traffic go the other way, right? But yeah, so we finished, uh, finished our lunch and uh, yeah, I decided to go ahead and clean my lenses on my cameras on both of these on the GoPro in on the uh, Sony uh, last couple of couple of weeks uh, I've been noticing some smudges on there every once in a while and uh, so I got my cleaning cloth out and my cleaning material and finally got around to cleaning it all real good and I was also due for uh, cleaning my windshield from the inside I noticed uh, especially here on the front uh, front windshield there that was uh, I don't know from moisture or whatever it runs down the windshield and it was starting to bug me so I decided ah, I'll go ahead and clean the windshield from the inside as well since I do actually in all reality do have a little bit of time it is uh, currently 5:39 right now in the afternoon but I don't have to be at my delivery till 10 tomorrow right which that's 9 o'clock my time so I should have no problem making it up to uh, Thunder Bay tonight and then uh, shouldn't be too far of a drive to go down to the customer but yeah looks like uh, we got a nice clean windshield again and looks like that's looking pretty nice out of the window again which that's something that I'm really passionate about and happy about that I got around to cleaning it makes me feel good so now let's go and uh, get into Thunder Bay. We got about a three hour drive left to go. The earlier it was starting to get on my nerves that I had a few people that were ahead of me. They, they were only doing 80 clicks an hour. and So I said, screw it. I'm pulling into this uh, pullover area. I was starting to get a little bit hungry too, right? And it's already, you know, around five o'clock, right? By the time I pulled in there, it's, yeah. Let's have lunch so this or supper so this way we don't have uh, something to eat super late in the evening, right? So this way it gives my buddy a chance to work through some of that food before we go to bed, right? Because I'm trying to lose a few pounds. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I haven't really put it to use for the last little while, right? So I'm going to try and work on it a little harder here in the next little while and see what happens, right? I am coming into Thunder Bay territory. Yes, indeed I am. And that sun is starting to, to go down behind me. Yes, it is. Oh, well, it has been a good day so far for me. I've just been giving her here for a good while and... Uh, now we're almost there we're only nine kilometers from getting to my delivery and uh, I know there is a uh, husky truck stop just before I get to my customer so my goal is to make it up to there and I really hope I can find me some parking still available that would be really really nice I'll keep my fingers crossed anyways and we'll see what happens but in the meantime, let's enjoy that nice sunset and let's make it over to the Husky and uh, call it a day, hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to go back here about 10 miles. There is another truck stop uh, over there, but uh, I don't really want to make it or have, you know, I don't really want to have to drive back over there 10 miles back. But if I have to, I got no choice, right? But regardless, I'm going to go over there and find out. If I have parking, well, then I'll be very close to my delivery for tomorrow. And that would be better for me because then I can uh, basically uh, get more miles in tomorrow, right? That's kind of my goal. I want to try and max out my hours tomorrow as much as I possibly can. So it might be a late night tomorrow for me, but 
whatever it is what it is right i have made it up to thunder bay up to the husky yeah and it is actually the next morning i kind of i don't know i just decided to go for a nice little walk and when i came back i was tired so i just kind of lay down in the bed over here and just kind of relaxed and uh Next thing I know, I said, oh, I better schedule my video yet for the morning so you guys could actually watch it, right? So I went ahead and did that and never even closed off my show. So, yeah, we got lucky enough to find us a parking spot here. There was actually several spots still open, so that was nice. So now it's the next morning. Like I said, I just woke up here probably half an hour ago. Now we're uh, opening up our computer and uh, putting in our files from the GoPro and all that stuff. And then we're getting ready to uh, to go down to the customer and deliver this load, right? Let's take a look. It looks like a beautiful, beautiful sunny morning out there today. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead and call it a day, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, don't forget to come back tomorrow and see what we are up to tomorrow. And also don't forget to check out the links in the description box below and uh, also leave a comment below and uh, give us a big fat thumbs up if you haven't done so already with that being said i'm out of here we'll see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.